Hey, what's up? I'm Jay Miron. Here with my good buddies, Alistair Witten and Gary Young. And we're here to talk about practicing riding when there's no skate park and no ramps around to ride. Stuff you can just do in your driveway, messing around. Not everyone lives by a park, and even if you live by a park, it's not open every day. So this way, we're going to show you how to learn these skills that you're going to use in the park when it's a day off. Oh, you're gonna start up first. What do you want? A bunny hop? I want a bunny hop. There you go. Bunny hop is a jump when there is no jump. It'll teach you how to pull up off the lip of a ramp and uh, clear some gaps. Front tire first, back tire second. You want to yank on them bars real hard. Squeeze your feet across the pedals, push backwards, and pull the back end up. It doesn't seem like the back end should come up, but trust me, it'll come up. This one takes a while to learn. So do it over and over and over again. Bunny hop. It is the, without a doubt, most essential move you'll ever, ever, ever learn on a bike. Pretty much every single trick involves doing a bunny hop. It's the way you get speed over a box jump. It's the way you clear a gap. And it's the way you start a 360. It's everything in BMX is a bunny hop. If you get really good at that, you can bunny hop three to four feet high. That's what the top pros do. Next up, Alistair Witt is going to show us the Bunny Hop 180. You're using a bunch of different skills here. Not only are you doing a bunny hop, but you're starting off that 180, which is basically the initiation move for a 360. You're going to learn how to roll back, and you're also going to learn how to pivot the next 180 out of that one. One more time, Alistair, please. Big 180. Roll back, and 180 out. 180, you use lots of different skills on that. First, you got a bunny hop to get that air to do the 180. When you do the 180, it's really important because that's how you initiate the spin for a 360. Any kind of spinning tricks comes from that 180 you're going to learn on the ground. Again, pull the bars up, and just like you do on a straight bunny hop, when you curl your feet back into the pedals to pull the back end up, also twist with your hands and your feet, get that 180, stay centered right over the bottom bracket, and you're going to land nice, smooth, both wheels at the same time, Roll it back, then 180 out. Next move we're going to show you is a bunny hop 360. Gary's going to cheat it a little bit first try. This is a good technique for learning. He's not going to do a full 360, but he's going to actually pivot the rest on his back wheel. 180 to pivot 180. He's gonna circle around there, show us that one more time, Gary. Easiest way to do it, give a good yank on them bars, 180, pull the back brake, pivot the rest of the 180. If you can, please, Gary, show us a full 360. This is the technique you're gonna need when you do it over a box jump. Full 360, land pretty much both wheels at the same time. On a bunny hop 360, Uh, like Gary showed earlier, the best way to learn it is to do a bunny hop 180, lock that back end, and then spin the other 180. That's fine to learn, but when it comes time to actually doing a 360, you got to spin right over the center of your bike. That means initiating the spin not only with your handlebars, but with your legs. Uh, same as if you didn't have a bike between you and you jumped up and you spun 360 degrees around, you got to think of that exact same feel. So you want to pull both wheels up at very close to the same time, just a little bit front wheel first, and really move the back end as much as you do the handlebars, and you do that with your legs. Get that thing most of the way around, and uh, before you know it, it'll be coming all the way around, and that's the proper way to do a 360. All right, next one we're going to show you is a manual. A manual is basically a wheelie without pedaling. You're just using your uh, body to counterbalance the bike and keep that back end up. 
use manuals to keep speed in a skate park, but you can learn them pretty much anywhere. Any parking lot, it doesn't hurt to have a slight downhill when you're learning, because that keeps your momentum going a little better and you can feather the brakes to keep that thing rolling. It's all about counterbalancing the bike with your body. The bike starts dropping, you lean back, the bike starts coming up, you lean a little bit over the bars. If you have to, you feather the back brakes, keep that thing down under control. It's also really good to do in a parking lot and count parking spaces, set a goal. First day you get there, two parking spaces, that's how far I want a manual. By the end of the third day, you're going to be manualing right across the parking lot. Trust me, it's not as hard as it looks. That's about it. I'm Jay Miron. Gary Young. And I'm Alistair Witten. And that's basically uh, messing around in the parking lot 101 on Sports School. We out of here? We're out of here.